Pastor Carl Ruby in Springfield, Illinois, he has a message that evangelicals should listen to. Because I tell you what, what Donald Trump and J.D. Vance did to the Springfield, Ohio community uh, create a lot of dissension, create a lot of friction, create a lot of hate, uh, force the city to spend money that it didn't have, where it's already trying to cope with expenses of, of, of having a whole lot of issues with immigrants and otherwise. What Donald Trump and them did, it was horrendous, and this pastor gave it another dimension. I want you to listen to our Reverend Carl Ruby, and then we'll take it on the other side. One thing I want to say, I've had a lot of uh, media coverage this week, and I've gotten tons of emails from people I don't know from all over the world, and almost every single one has been positive. Um, and here, here in the committee of Springfield, there are pastors who've never worked together before who are arm in arm um, saying together, God, God loves immigrants and he commands that we do. I mean, Im immigrants are so important. They made the Ten Commandments. Uh, Moses talked about our need to welcome immigrants. King David talked about it. Most of the prophets talked about it. But most of all, Jesus talked about it. And in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, um, if you're if you're truly a righteous person, you will greet strangers. And the word for strangers is a word for immigrant or foreigner. And then he went on to say, um, he, um, he said, if you only greet people who are just like you, what good is that? Even pagan people do that. So to me, you, you can't claim to be loyal to Jesus if you're not willing to show love to, to immigrants. That's so central to the Christian message. And I think this is a time for the whole church, really, to get back to what it means to be a true Christian. And that is a person who loves their neighbors, we love ourselves, and treats others as, as we would like to be treated. Reverend Ruby nails it. All of these people, including the evangelicals that are now beholden to Trump, they have allowed Trump, these pastors that should be taking care of their flock, they have allowed Trump to so distort their morality that they have forgotten the good book that they follow, as the pastor indicated, to do all that is wrong. If that isn't evil, please tell me what is. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.